Hi everyone, it's been a while. So this is just a quick review video for how to draw the externalities diagrams in the market failure unit. So I always tell my class, step one, the first step is to always determine the point of allocative efficiency. Draw the point of allocative efficiency. This is the intersection of the marginal social cost and marginal social benefit. So here you've got the marginal social cost, which is sort of like the optimal or the ideal supply, and the marginal social benefit, which is the optimal or the ideal demand from society's point of view. And this gives us the allocatively efficient outcome. This is the outcome where allocative efficiency will be achieved. Q opt is the allocatively efficient quantity. P opt is the allocatively efficient price. This is step one. Step two is to determine the nature of the externality. Is it a positive externality or a negative externality? If it's a positive externality, the equilibrium quantity will be less than the optimal quantity. There is an under allocation of resources. If it's a negative externality, the equilibrium quantity will be greater than the optimum quantity. Quantity. So you can see here the point of allocative efficiency is Q opt. If there are positive externalities, the market will actually produce QE in the case of positive externalities. That's why I wrote PE. And there will be a potential welfare gain. This is the potential welfare that society could gain if more resources were allocated to this product. If there are negative externalities in the case of NE, then the equilibrium quantity will actually be greater than the optimal quantity. And this triangle here, the blue triangle, will be the welfare loss due to this over allocation. So that brings us to step three. Um, step three I and step three double I. So in the case of positive externalities, as I said, the equilibrium quantity QE will be less than the optimal quantity Q opt. Um, determine if the externality is the result of, a consum of consumption or the result of production. So is this a consumption externality or a production externality? In the case of positive externalities of consumption, the MSB will be higher than the MPB. Remember, the benefit to society is higher than the benefit of the individual. So basically, you already have your MSC an MSB intersection, draw an MPB curve that is below the MSB curve. Now remember, the intersection of MPB and MSC will be the equilibrium market outcome. QE is the equilibrium quantity in the market. PE is the equilibrium price. Basically, what's happening is uh, consumers are undervaluing the benefit of this product and thus they are under consuming. QE is less than Q opt because of under consumption. PE is less than P opt because of consumers undervaluing the product and thus basing their consumption decisions on a lower perceived value. In the case of positive externalities of production, MSC is less than the MPC because there's an external benefit. So when you add the external benefits to the MPC, it leads to a lower MSC curve. So basically, take this allocatively efficient um, intersection and draw an MPC curve above the MSC. Okay? This will lead to an equilibrium market outcome where QE is less than Q opt and PE is higher than P opt. The cost of the producing the product is higher than it should be, and that's why PE is higher than P opt. Because of the external benefits, the cost, um, the marginal cost upon which producers base their production decisions is higher than it should be. Okay, you'll notice that in both diagrams, the potential welfare gain or the welfare loss triangle is the same. It is always the triangle that points in the direction of allocative efficiency, which is the intersection of MSC and MSB. So remember, QE, PE is the equilibrium market outcome. Q opt, P opt is the allocatively efficient outcome. QE, PE, the equilibrium market outcome is what the market is actually providing. While think of Q-opt, P-opt, the allocatively efficient outcome, as what the market should be providing. In the case of positive externalities of consumption, 
Well, what's happening is there's a problem of underconsumption. While in the case of positive externalities of production, what's happening is there's a problem of underproduction. That's why QE is less than QOPT. What about the case of negative externalities? So this is step three double I if you have negative externalities. Whenever you have negative externalities, QE will always be greater than QOPT. There's an over allocation of resources. So now you need to determine, is this externality the result of consumption or the result of production? In the case of negative externalities of consumption, remember the MSB will always be less than the MPB because there's an external cost um, associated with consumption that is imposed on the rest of society. So once again, take that allocatively efficient um, intersection, MSC and MPB, and then draw an MPB curve that is higher than the MSB curve. The intersection of MPB and MSC is the equilibrium market outcome. The market is producing QE and charging a price of PE, but it should be producing a quantity of QOPT and charging a price of POPT. Here, what's happening is consumers are overvaluing the benefits of this product. Okay, that's why the equilibrium price is higher than P opt and they are over consuming. That's why QE is greater than Q opt. What about in the case of negative externalities of production? When there are negative externalities of production, the social cost, marginal social cost will be higher than the marginal private cost. So again, you take that allocatively efficient intersection that you started with and you draw an MPC curve that's positively sloping, that is below the MSC curve. That leads to an equilibrium market outcome, QE being greater than QOPT. There is a problem of overproduction and PE being lower than POPT. The producer is not paying the full true cost of producing that product. The equilibrium price is lower than it should be. Price should reflect that external cost and the equilibrium quantity is higher than it should be. There's a problem of overproduction. This is sort of my strategy for determining how to draw the four externalities diagrams. I always start with the intersection of MSC and MSB. That is the optimal market outcome, the allocatively efficient outcome. Then I decide, is this a case of positive externalities or negative externalities? Remember, if there is a case of positive externalities, the equilibrium quantity will always be less than the, than the optimal quantity. If it's a case of negative externalities, the equilibrium quantity will be greater than the optimal quantity. And then I ask myself, is it an externality of consumption or an externality of production? I hope you found this video useful. Please um, like, subscribe, share, leave comments uh, if you have any questions and feel free to become a member of uh, this channel or um, support the channel um, by clicking the uh, buy me a coffee link down below in the description. Thank you very much. Have a good one.